Riverboat Gambler is a 70-foot climb located in the above anthrax area at Pettenwell Bluff. This is the north end of the bluff. It's a 70-foot climb that requires seven quick draws plus draws for the anchor. You can set up the belay either on the starting ledge or use the belay bolt as your first bolt and set up the belay on the hillside below. This climb is rated 510B in the guidebook and 510A on Mountain Project. After having climbed it, I believe that there is one 510B move going over the roof. This section of the wall, the route really stays on the left face, so stay out of the ledgy, easier climbing to the right. This base is about 5'9", five 5'9 nine, five nine plus climbing. It's fun and a lot more challenging than the easy steps up to it. Here I'm making my way up to the fourth bolt. Once you reach the fourth bolt, you'll see that there's a fifth bolt out to the left. Now I believe this is from the old bolt line before this climb was made safe with the newer bolts. You're gonna wanna skip the fifth bolt that's out left. And from this bolt, go on up to just below the roof. If you're the one setting this route, I highly recommend an extended draw for the bolt and the roof. In our case, we used a three foot draw, but I think a two foot alpine draw would work just fine as well. This is gonna reduce the rope drag as you go up to the top portion of the climb. Now, as you're ready to start the roof, there's an excellent jug hold there for your right. You need to step up into the roof, and there's another line of jugs for your left hand. Now, you really want to get your left hand far left so that you can match in that jug line with your right. From here, you can engage the roof, Bump your left hand up to a large jug. Some people will match and cut feet for the ideal picture. In this case, I just go on up to another slopey jug over the roof and clip my next draw. Climbing from here up is about 5'7 or 5'8. Very easy climbing to the anchors. You have one more draw, and then you can clip the anchors. Now, one nice thing about this climb is it is possible to top out, and the view up top is well worth it. So, if you're going to do that, clip your anchors, stay on belay, continue up to the top and take in the view, then ease back down, finish off the climb, an ultra classic for the area and a cannot miss for you 5'10 climbers.